Zero WAR Shutter Mafia Studios doing a quick YouTube video. We'll see what this looks like. Sunny day in Loveland, Colorado. We're checking out the Silicon Solar PV module. It's a model number LS 30FX2. It's a 30 watt semi flexible solar panel for boats or whatever so those fine folks sent me this from uh, China the manufacturers and they said I'll do a uh, YouTube video on it they approached me and I said I'd love it so yeah I've been testing it out with a meter here when you angle it at the Sun it doubles the uh, watts it puts out so this is a hundred amp hour AGM battery it's been sitting in my closet in the ham shack for a while without being charged. I think I killed it. Right now it's hovering at 12.23 volts. So we'll plug this in. What I did is I put power poles on everything. I got a little tiny uh, 10 amp max solar charger controller right here. It's tiny that another ham made. So we're going to plug that in, and the green light comes on, it says it's going, we're still 11-2, we're going to see what's up. Now we got the red is charging, and the battery went up to 14.3 volts already instantly. So this little booger does put out. We're just testing it on this tailgate. I got 240 watt panels on the top of the truck and batteries and inverter, charger controller, super battery booster, and a power guard plus battery switch that shuts it off at whatever. So it's already uh, charging this sucker up. A lot of hams say, what do you want to do that stuff for? run the 12 volt TV off of there, whatever, the ham radios, the chargers, the inverters, the computers in the front of the truck. So there's another use for this. I can jump start my truck from my panels on here, but say you don't got that, you can set this on your dashboard and plug it into your cigarette lighter, which I'm going to do a test here in a minute and see if I can charge the truck battery. I got another monitor watt meter in there. So I'll unplug this and set that up there and we'll see what that looks like here. But so far so good, real watt lightweight. It's got some eyelets on here. You could mount it on something. It's very light. If you had a bunch of these on the truck, they make higher panel watts and a very interesting design. So it is already working great on this uh, 100 amp hour. And I'll unplug it and check out the front of the truck. WAR returning, we're still hot. I reconfigured the meter on here, the power analyzer. It's still charging. And now I can see how many amps and watts it's charging at. It looked like about over one amp charge rate flat like this it's charging at 12.5 watts the battery's 13.92 volts it's charging at 0.9 amps right now I'm just gonna angle it up towards our Sun and it jumped up to 1.5 5 amps and it's charging at 15 watts maybe this is a 15 watt panel I'm gonna put a thing on the description it says it's a 30 watt panel so right now it's we got full Sun 15 just over 15 almost 16 watts 
1.1 amp charger aid. So I just wanted to show that, what it's really doing here, which ain't bad, it's still doing this battery fine. Yep, it's holding steady at 15.6, almost 16. Then when I lay it flat, it goes down to 12.4.91 amps. So very good info to know. So even right now, I'll try this out. A little 400 watt inverter. See what that does. Let me turn that sucker on. Power's on. We got nothing to plug in, but whatever. It's holding at 13.7 volts, still charging at 12. So it'll easily run this uh, inverter here off this uh, battery here. We'll check this out in the uh, front of the truck to see if it'll charge the truck battery underneath the hood from the, through the windshield. I got it all rigged up. Let's check it out. Zero WAR here again. We're gonna just take a closer look at this sucker. Let's see if you can see what it looks like here before we look at the front of the truck. It's very interesting. It's very dark. It's like a, like a mono crystalline. And it uh, blends in very nicely. It does have the cut edges a little bit on the uh, cells. We'll take a look at the front of the truck. It's still charging good. Yeah, we're hot. Shutter Mafia Studios, Aaron here again. Another test video on the uh, solar panel, which I have sitting on the dashboard now. The uh, entire front windshield is tinted, so that might be blocking a lot. And I think it is. Because I got my meter in here again. It's charging it at 0.23 amp right now. And there's no shade on it. And that's 2.9 watts. And the battery's sitting at 12.98 volts. And it is charging right now. So with this little booger here, charger controller. Um, you plug it right into your cigarette lighter right here, which has got a uh, Anderson power pole on it. And this little jumper goes right to our charger controller. So you could use this in here as a trickle charger for your car if you park it at the airport uh, or whatever, a tractor. You could uh, stick this on top of the cab. Like I have two Kyocero panels up here, very old ones. I do have two brand new 240 watt panels a piece in the garage there that I picked up for 160 bucks on Craigslist. Brand new that I'm dying to try. But I love solar, and this thing is up over 13 volts now. It's charging at 3.1 watts, just right on the windshield here. So, very handy, very inexpensive, uh, weatherproof. Uh, blends right in, I love it. I'll put a link in the description and. I'm glad those guys uh, uh, asked me if I would do a test video on it. So I'll keep this handy in the truck and uh, use it to uh, make sure the truck battery stays good. I don't think you'd want to have this thing plugged in when the truck is running. Some other for ham friends that are big on solar that taught me how to do this stuff, which is very easy. They said not to have it being charged twice. So if you're parked stationary, trucks off, you want to keep the battery tended, fine. When you jump in, just disconnect it from the uh, battery and the uh, charger controller here, probably. But it's working awesome.